friends, this is Caitlin. Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for hopping along on the Foiling Fun YouTube Hop with Pink and Main today. If you haven't heard, Pink and Main has partnered up with Mink and they came out with their very own Pink and Main Mini Mink Foiling Machine collab. This is absolutely amazing. It's hot pink with these beautiful gold accents and it makes foiling so easy. I am so in love with how these cards turned out. I'm going to be sharing with you a set of two cards that came together super quick, but the impact that you get from this foiling is absolutely stunning. So I'm going to start out by plugging my mini mink in and getting it heated up. The, my favorite part about this machine is how quickly it is ready to use. So you just push the button to the setting that you want. I have mine set to three. Once it's heated up, it'll give you a beep and turn green. And that way you know you are good to go. I am using the Lagoon Cheer Foil. This is so beautiful. Um, it comes, when you get it on its own, it comes in that roll in the plastic packaging to keep it nice and safe in between uses. And to me, the best thing to pair it with today was the Full Bloom Foilable Kit. So the way these kits work is you get eight sheets that are eight and a half by five and a half. So the background pattern papers, you get two of each pattern and you can cut them in half to be an A2 size card front. And then you also get two each of these sentiment sets. And if you happen to have the layered scallop circle dies that just came out, the smallest stitch circle fits a lot of these sentiments perfectly. So we're gonna use that today on that little wreath that says, hello friend. Um, if you are participating in the hop today, you have a chance to win your very own pink mink. Um, and all you have to do is subscribe to this channel, leave me a comment on this video, and then hop along and do the same thing for the other people participating in the hop today. So just subscribe and comment all the way through the hop and you are entered in for a chance to win your very own pink mink and a little basic foiling kit. So I'll have all the details down in the description for you so you can check them out there and let's go ahead and jump into this card. So I started out by trimming my foil down to fit my sentiments which I just cut out of the rest of my pack and I'm just showing you here the pattern paper that I grabbed was from the year-round plaids and I love how the teal of this lagoon foil matches with the paper. So to make sure that everything stays nice and flat, I'm taking a tiny bit of tape and I'm adhering my foil to my foilable. And you want to make sure that the pretty sides are facing the same direction. So right now I have the pretty side facing up on my foil and underneath that the pretty side of my foilable is also facing up. So all of the prettiness should be facing you stacked together. Um, and you, once you put it into your mink, once the light is green, you can see my three setting is lit up. You don't want to force it or push it through. And I found that putting my foil set right up as close as I could kind of get to the carrier sheet edge, the better. And everything that I read said to put the fold of your carrier sheet through first. So keep those tips in mind when you are foiling. Um, and when I did that for this, they came out perfectly. So the other thing is you want to make sure that you're letting your foil cool completely before you remove it. And when you peel that back, it's so sink and satisfying. So you can also use the negatives of your foil with one of the full toner sheets that are available as well. I didn't have time to work on one of those cards today, but just know that you can definitely use those scraps. They don't have to just go in the trash can. So keep that in mind. Um, for this sentiment that says in a world of roses, be a wildflower, sorry, in a field of roses, be a wildflower. I trim that down with my paper trimmer to just be a nice square. And then for my hello friend, I am using that smaller stitched die. Like I said, I'll have that linked all down in the description box below for you. Everything that I use today in case you want to go check anything out. And then just to add a little more color to these sentiments, I grabbed some Copic markers 
right now I'm using a Y21 to shade in some yellow flowers. I went in with green for the leaves. I pulled in an RV to tie in some of the same colors from that plaid pattern background into my images. Just thought that was a really cool way to bring in one extra little pop of color and kind of customize my sentiments a little bit extra. And then my final color was a BV marker. I'll have those colors listed down in the description box below for you as well. And once I got those in, I didn't worry about shading. I just filled in with a solid color and I trimmed my plaid backgrounds down so that they were five by three and three quarters. This is going to give me a really nice matte uh, frame all the way around my card. And my main panels here are pebble cardstock, which I have trimmed down to an A2 sized panel. So those are five and a half by four and a quarter. And then my plaid's going to get adhered right on top with the easy squeeze liquid glue. Um, I like that this lets me kind of shift everything around and make sure that everything is nice and straight and where I want it to be. You do have to work a little quickly, but it's definitely a lot more forgiving than like a tape runner or um, foam tape. That's for sure. So I got both panels set up. I just love this really chunky plaid with these very delicate sentiments that we're adding to them. And to help them stand up and kind of stand out, I am going to be popping up my sentiments with some foam tape. Just like I said, I wanted them to kind of really be the star of the show and not get lost in all of that plaid. So just to give them a little step up, a little boost, I did trim off some of this giant foam tape that is from Pink and Main that I love. I'm chipping away at it slowly, but it feels like I use it a lot. So keep that in mind. It's a lot of foam tape. Um, so for my square one, I just added three good pieces to the back. I tried to stand up over my card panel so that I could make sure that this was nice and straight and then just kind of pressed it into place when I felt good about it. And I repeated the process with that circle. I just want to take a moment to thank you guys for hopping along and I hope that you really love these types of hops where you get to kind of really learn from so many different people with different styles. I always think that that's so much fun. Um, to finish off my cards, I grabbed the cool jelly gems and I'm adding a little bit of the kind of lighter teal lagoon colored gems. I did six on this panel, kind of doing two different triangle groupings creating that diagonal line all the way across. And then for my wreath, I'm just gonna add three to the sentiment itself in the center of the flowers. I thought that was really cute and I love how the color ties in with the foil on that same sentiment and around that wreath. So that wraps up both of my cards. I'll just pop these onto card bases and be good to go. I hope that you're feeling super inspired. Don't forget to hop along and subscribe and leave a comment at each stop. I hope I get to find out who, I can't wait to see, I should say, who wins that mink. There's also a hop going on over on Instagram with its own mink prize being given away, so make sure that you check that out too. I hope you have the most amazing day, and as always, happy crafting.